Okay, here we are with loco number 407,268. <laughs> well, it seems like that, uh, but not quite. Not only is this one of my favourites because she's a black 5, and I absolutely love the black 5s, uh, the Stania class 5s, but she's a British Railway, a uh, British Rail liveried one as well. Um, and it's a super detail model. It's by Hornby. And I can tell you now that she runs incredibly well. Absolutely incredibly. But let's see what she's like, shall we? So let's just open her up. As you can see there, it's Bridge Rail 460 5MT. The MT stands for mixed traffic, I think. And it's true, they were pulling passengers and um, freight, anything basically, anything goes. If it needed pulling, you could count on a black five. So, usual holes in the back, one finger in, gently push up, grab it with the other hand. Oh, come on Hornby, this packaging's not very loco friendly. Do something. Get rid of the tissue paper. Throw it to the cat. Don't actually have a cat, by the way. Anyway, let's have a look. Wow. First things first. Lovely sprung metal buffers. Fantastic detail on the connecting rods and linkage. Feels really nice and looks really nice as well. There's a nice fine hand. I mean, that's almost like hair. The handrail is so fine running down the side there. There's a seam, a join running across the top, but that's obviously due to manufacture. There's not much that can be done about that. Um, but it's not really noticeable. You've got some excellent detail. You really, really have. Um, it's a shame, to be honest, that I have put these two gents there, um, ready to be painted, because you can't really see all the detail in the cab, but hopefully you can just about make out that all those pipes have been painted, they're all coloured in, not by me, it came like that, it's, it really is super detailed as the box says, and it's of a good weight as well, it's always a good sign, if she's heavy, it means she's good. The smoke box is absolutely, uh, sorry, the firebox is absolutely bang on, and the smoke box as well. It's a shame the front doesn't open to reveal all the tubes inside, but, well, we can't have everything, can we? So that's obviously where the tender attaches. Let's just have a quick look at the tender, shall we? Let's put that to one side. There you see. Even though there's a, even though it needs a bit of a clean, um, there's quite a little bit of weight to that as well. For just a tender, that's quite heavy. In fact, that's the same weight as like a, a full cheapo loco, if you like. Um, but yeah, that is lovely. The coal is removable as well, so you can take that out and put in real coal if you want, or some other fake coal detailing on the back you can even see all the rivets that's nice that's such a nice touch and you've got the vacuum pipes there for brakes the emblem is spot on ah oh, this loco is incredible and for her to run well as well well easily easily 10 out of 10